need to hear this. Um, silence on the field. I want to have a, a quick, <laughs> quick, quick silence here for my grandparents who lived in this house 50 years ago. I'm probably guessing that my parents or my mother left her wedding day from this house yeah. to meet with my, my dad to get married. I don't know, I'm guessing. I know most of my cousins are here. We've had tons and tons of memories right on this driveway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm speaking for all of you, I but I guarantee you we had our first <laughs> glass of wine in this Oh, place. definitely. <laughs> hey. I guarantee you most of us. Most of us probably had our first sip of beer in this. <laughs> <laughs> That's true too. <laughs> um, you think you want your little? A booze funeral. Right oh, here on this corner. Kidding. And uh, one thing that that I cherish is um, my children. The day they were born, they spent their first day in this house. They came from the hospital to this house to see my grandmother, Lindsay oh. and Sydney both. Um, I just think this is a spot where, I mean, a lot of stuff, are, this is the center of our family, guys, Yeah. this house. I'm so proud that Susan lives here and that she keeps it going. And my parents started their life, you know, their lives together here. And we're all here today. And, I, you know, I can't be more proud than seeing everybody here because I think this makes them feel the best. Um, I'm the guy that took them away from you guys because <laughs> I moved to Oregon 13 years ago. And um, just like my dad, he moved, he moved his family from Hawaii, and most of his family followed him here. Um, I moved to Oregon, and some of my family followed Woo! me there. So good or bad or otherwise, I, have them, I get to see them more than you guys, but I'm telling you, they love all you people. Yes. And they're here for all of you, too, so I just want to say I love you guys. We love you guys, too. to every one of you. We're connected in one way or the other. My blood, my love, friendship, and just knowing one another. And that's something that, that that's what life's all about. I have been to a funeral where they have to hire somebody to carry the body because there was no one there. They, what kind of a life do these people live? I mean, God is love. And if you love, you got to love with no strings attached, 100%. Marriage is not a 50-50 deal. It's a 100-100 deal. Amen to that. Yeah. No such thing as 50-50. Yeah. I know you should never, ever, excuse me, never, ever go to bed without saying, I'm sorry if you did something, pissed someone off, but in the language. Always forgive and forget. Never hold any grudges because that's, that's what brings you down. And I'm not a preacher, but I'll tell you, you that prayer is the key to God's heart. No matter how tough things get, you pray. I've had friends, she can tell you, dying of cancer, saying, no hope. We prayed to certain saints, within six months, these people were completely cured. This is true. I, I've had things happen. My own life. I had two body, out of body experiences in my life. And so I know there is another world out there. And you're going to get what you ask for. It's like the old saying is as a tree falls in the forest, so shall it lie. You make your own bed, you want to sleep in it. So I say, love everybody. Most number one thing is love. Yeah. Period. There you go. I thank you all for being here. I love everybody here, and I thank you all for being here. We love you too. I love you too. To my granddaughter, and to my grandson, who worked so hard and graduated from college, and to Eric, to you, to you young people. You guys are going to keep, keep the way. There you go. God bless every one of you, and thank you. Oh my God! Investigative reporter Joe Neto. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>